Why aren't I allowed to go to Eden? Could it be that God has made a mistake somehow? You're not allowed to go to Eden because you don't have the passcode. Go talk to the guy in the bar. He can tell you. Hello, YouTube. I'm Uncle Crunktist, your standard issue purple monster of a certain age who plays games on the internet. In the previous episode of Shin Megami Tensei 2, we reached the top of Castle Kether, confronted and defeated the Sovereign of the Abyss, the Lord of the Air, the Bringer of Light, the ever-loving Morning Star's own damn self, Lucifer, in 1v6 combat. But that's neither here nor there. Without the Lord of Chaos to control him, the Nine-Headed Dragon come mountain range, Kuruzuryu, must be defeated before he destroys both the Underworld and the Millennium. Our old rival Daleth, no doubt sent by his mistress the fairy Anun, told us that to fight Kuzuryu, we must go to the southern edge of the underworld, so it's off to Rapungi we go. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Immediately. Kuzuryu has finally awakened. Lucifer certainly is a sharp one, preparing a contingency plan in case he died. But there's no time for talk like this. If you two don't want to be killed, you'd better go and kill the Kuzuryu. Go on now, hurry. And of course, the legendary nine-headed dragon only has one head. Uh. Anyway, time to fight. Oh, I forgot to mention that I have new um, what's the name? Um, new demons. Oh well, we'll talk about them after the fight, I guess. Hey, I froze him. Awesome. Oh my god, am I going to stun lock him? Okay. Um, retribution doesn't work. But, I think that's fine because I think I'm going to be able to just stun lock this guy. Aleph is no longer the fastest person in our party. That's kind of crazy.
Wait, Hiroko went before Aleph? The world's going all topsy turvy on me. Hiroko is the definition of the word slow. Although I have been putting like boss levels of uh, experience points into her speed, so maybe she's not actually that slow anymore. I do not understand how speed works in this game. Now that Aleph is back to going first. Is it cyclical? Is it partially random? Massive boss fight that has been building up ever since we got to the underworld. Actually, even before that, pretty much the entire game with all these earthquakes. This monumental, titanic boss fight comes down to a cakewalk. We just stun lock him and hit him with basic attacks. Hiroko's gun still does more damage than her sword, so... Although, actually, Hiroko has Aleph's old sword, I think. Also, she has a pretty high possibility of um, multiple attacks, so maybe I'll just have her use her sword instead of her gun for this fight. And that's it. Wow, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. 35,000 experience. Oh, um, okay. Let's see. It's only enough for one point though. Only one level up. Um, there is no point in vitality. I'm, he, he already has, he's had max hit points for a long time now. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, the, her, her, her speeds improved quite a lot. 
Well done, Aleph. You certainly are capable. I knew I was right to give you my demon summoning program. But this isn't over. Lucifer was not the only one planning to destroy Millennium. Go to Eden. If you don't hurry, there will be no turning back. Go to Eden? Uh, how do I get to Eden? Oh, the only time I've been to Eden, one of, uh, who, who's the names? Uh, one of Lucifer's minions took me there against my will. Hang on, where is Rapungi? Is this, oh, here we go. Yeah, all right. Um, oh, right. Um, my new demons. None of whom have, who have been harmed. Um, only really two to talk about. Oh, oh my. Uh, Ardhana. Hmm. Okay, you can see her name right there. It's right there. Um, Level 67, 999 hit points, 363 mana points, Moragion, M Megadolon, Mamudo, Samaricarm, also 60 Dance and Rampage. Massive attack and defense. Um, let's see, also we have Suna uh, Susano, who is a Fury. Level 61, 865 out of, oh, uh, uh, that's his, oh, okay, he, uh, well, 988 hit points. 290 MP, um... I still don't know what CP means. I'm near the end of the game, I still don't know what CP means. Anyway, Pazianga, Masanma, Paralati, Bind, Cry, uh, something. And Hades, something. Um, uh, also, huge attack and defense. Anywho, those are my new guys. Um... Uh, okay, so. Uh, probably the center? Can't get to the center, though, can I? Um, okay, let's go to... Um, Holy Town. walk to the center from Holy Town. Just a little longer. A day will come when we will see God. Does the TV work? Nope. Okay. Head up to control and see if we can find anything out here. Ah, there's no one here. Fantastic. Hmm. Right, there's 
There's a place I couldn't get into before. Um. Wait. What? How did I get to that part of the 22nd floor? I don't remember. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, there's a door over there. Oh, okay, I have to come up from the 21st floor. I mean, the 20th floor. ID code. I don't know it. Crap. Ah, come on. Okay, let's go upstairs. The last time I needed codes, I got, I mean, for the millennium, for center, I got them from a bar. Can't remember where that bar is, but it's somewhere in the center. I can cast map again. Good. I have enough trouble getting around with a map. I cannot yet go to Eden. Surely this is because I am not worthy of God's salvation. I'm definitely in the right place to get to Eden. I, oh, the bar. Yeah, the last the last time I needed a uh, passcode, I got it from this bar. Well, the passcode um, for a, bill, a door in Millennium. There's only one guy here. The Shady Man. I went up into the top floors of the center. Looks like he intends to settle this once and for all and take over the center entirely. The passcode he used was 347, 347, 347. Damn! Can't remember. What was that last number? Not a problem. Only 10 options. Okay, so we know enough of the code. Now we just need to get back to the door. Oh, I don't have faith in anyone anymore. The only thing I believe in now is money. Ah, and money is made by Lucifuge, one of Lucifer's top minions. Huh. Why aren't I allowed to go to Eden? Could it be that God has made a mistake somehow? You're not allowed to go to Eden because you don't have the passcode. Go talk to the guy in the bar. He can tell you. Sort of. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's either this locked door over here uh, or it's the one on the 22nd floor. Probably. Everyone here talking about going to Eden. Guy in the bar saying Zion went to the top. Um, oh, wait. If it's the top. Oh, okay. No, it's definitely on the 22nd floor then. But I'm so close to this door. Oh, that would be a waste of time. All the clues, the clues say that it's the door on the 22nd. If I knew the exact code, then fine. I could take the time to go um, lollygag at the other door, but I have to guess, so. At least it's close to the stairs. Okay, three, four, seven, something. Start with zero. Oh, well, that was easy. Opening the door. Open the door. Oh. Um. Okay. Exit. Cherubim. The gates of Eden will only open to the chosen few. We have been given the gift of knowing who is chosen and who is not. You are... Oh. You are one of the chosen few. Go. You may enter paradise. Thanks to Fury's robe, you were able to trick the cherubim. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't believe I'm here in Eden. I heard the voice of God, and then an angel appeared in front of me and brought me to Eden. I will work to build a new world from now on. Good for you. I think that an old man like without much time left, like me, would be chosen. Until I die, I intend to work toward building a new world. Okay. Just when I was thinking that millennium itself was a mistake, I heard the word of God. Those of us that heard the word of God were chosen to build a new world. Regardless of origin or status, all those who heard the word of God and were willing to forsake their knowledge were brought here. Forsake their knowledge? What? To think that one such as me, with no ability other than being able to kill things, would hear God's voice and be brought to Eden. I don't know what use I will be, but I guess this is fate. 
Okay. Um. Your reward, I guess, I suppose. I know why Gabriel brought me here. I was destined to live in the new world. Oh boy. Is that everything? Is that all the story pips? That's all the story pips. Okay. Oh, it's Gabriel. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. I found out that in this game, Gabriel is female. So. You do not belong here. Zion is to the south. You should go to him. Oh. I missed, um, I missed him somehow. How did I miss him? Oh, he's in the trees. Aleph, I finally understand. I know who I am and why I am here. Dude, I... I'm sorry. I know why I was born, what my job is, and what I was destined to do. And now, I'm going to return to my true form. Look, I... I lost other half has returned to me. What do you mean your other half? Zion was Satan? Zion, my bodyguard, was the other half, uh, the other half of Satan. Oh, dear. I am Satan. I am God's chosen bringer of retribution and judge of all in heaven and earth, demon and human. Defiler of this holy paradise, be gone! Fall into the depths of the filth where you belong! You were cast out into the underworld. Uh, again. All that. Oh, hi, Steven. Wow. Looks like Satan really did a number on you. But you don't have time to rest up. Look, he started to move already. Oh. What? The... 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 The top of Millennium is a rocket ship? This just gets wilder and wilder. Satan was making the people in the center construct an ark. Oh. Eden is there, inside. The Ark flew away along with those chosen who live in the New World. And there's something even worse in the Ark. The Megiddo Ark. The Megiddo Ark is an extremely powerful energy weapon. If it is fired, it will kill every last living thing on the planet. Satan is getting ready to fire it and will do so without hesitation because it is what God has ordered him to do. Nobody can stop him. God has abandoned those living on the surface in Millennium, in the Underworld, and in the Abyss, everyone. Aleph I shall give you one final chance to stop him. Come to a terminal, it doesn't matter which one. Well, um, okay. Kuzuryu, this legendary 
thing. This nine-headed dragon demon masquerading as a mountain range that has been foreshadowed this entire game. Been causing earthquakes in every domain. This entire game was a cakewalk. We stun locked him from the very first turn, so he didn't do a single point of damage to any one of us. Also, this nine-headed dragon demon only had one head. Disappointed! Anywho, we met up with Zion in Eden, and it turns out that he's been Satan's other half this entire time. So, my prediction that I would have to kill him was correct, just to a much more dramatic degree than I expected. Also, the top of Millennium was actually a rocket ship, an honest-to-God space ark designed to keep Yahweh's chosen few safe while Satan sterilizes the Earth with an orbital laser. At least Yahweh is keeping his promise to not destroy the world by flood again, but by fire. In the meantime, up here is a playlist of my Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney playthrough. And down here is a video that YouTube recommends. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!